A new strategy to relieve the backlog of cases at the West Virginia State Police Forensic Lab is finally showing progress. In 2016, that backlog had built up to almost 5,000 criminal investigation cases waiting to be analyzed. But by the end of 2018, that number was down to just 2,300. I think a plan of action had to be made to determine how we were going to reduce and eventually eliminate the backlog. It's the only full service lab in the state, meaning they receive evidence from every law enforcement agency across West Virginia. There's 800 different departments and agencies that use our forensic lab free of charge, which we enjoy being able to provide that service. But thanks to several grants, the lab is now fully staffed with 53 forensic analysts and technicians. And I feel like we're at a level now of where we always should have been with the caseload that we're expected to carry. And they've developed a career progression structure to keep those positions filled. Our our staff are highly educated, highly trained. It takes some of them up to two years if they're in a specific discipline to be able to even begin casework. So we wanted to establish a system in which they there was incentives for them to stay. The backlog will never be down to zero as new cases come into the lab every single day. But a new framework is helping the lab crack the case of how to keep the backlog as low as possible. Things are happening. We're making a difference. Uh, improvement is being made, so it's only going to get better if, as long as these things continue to, uh, to be considered.